inside of this oak, uh, we discovered several wooden steps supported by the metal brackets, um, according to experts, dendrochronologists, made before Second World War. As for the brothers and their name, we were sure from the beginning out of our work with the anthropologist Alexandra Janos that Hemi, the name Hemi, could not have been their real name. We only learned their real name when, uh, this is also a very important moment, when Przemysław Kluzniak, uh, he measured the tree. Um, when Aga Schroeder was taking a silicon mold of the tree, we encountered Dorota and Wiesław Salomon, who were at the time working on the book about the local school, local historians. Uh, they were the first to tell us that the brothers were actually Paul Pesach and David Denholz. Their father was Nehemia. So the Polish people in the village, they made a short name of the Hemi brothers. Soon after, we managed to contact the daughters living in New York, Mania, uh, Berenholz and Helen Schwartz. They shared with us the family story and also archives. For uh, David and as well for Paul Denholz, who came from the nearby Frischtag, that was probably one of many hiding places. After escaping in the 1942 from uh, KL Płaszów camp in Krakow, they hid also in the surrounding forests, fields, and farms. So this, uh, and afterwards they emigrate to the United States. So it's also very important to underline that the tree, the chimney tree, was not only one hiding place. To further explore Jewish Poland, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to always stay up to date.